From Jermaine Jackson's emotional plea to leave his brother alone to the breaking details about the raid on the office of Dr. Conrad Murray, we have tons of late-breaking Michael Jackson news tonight. Let's get right to it. Joining me tonight from Hollywood is Lisa Bloom, who's a CNN legal analyst. Also joining me tonight in Hollywood, Leslie Marshall, host of the talk radio show, The Leslie Marshall Show. So this new interview with Jermaine Jackson was so powerful, really emotional, as he pleaded for people to lay off Michael. Watch this leave him alone, stop the crazy names that they call him, because what more do you have to do to make people realize he's a human being? His, his daughter said it all. My daddy, he was a human being. He was a person. He was a father. He was an uncle. He was a brother. He was a son. And they need to leave him alone. Lisa Bloom, off to you first. Does Jermaine have a point? He was, of course, all of those things. Michael was all of those things Jermaine said. But do you think people are being too harsh on Michael? Well, I think it can be both. Of course, Jermaine, as his brother, wants to protect Michael and preserve his legacy and his memory. But there's also a valid news story here. And when those toxicology results come out, we'll find out the medications that were in Michael's body. When the police conclude their investigation, we'll find out if there was foul play or if there were too many drugs involved here. And it can be both. He can be a wonderful entertainer and also a cautionary tale to other people who may be involved with drugs or prescription drug medications. It can be both. And I think that's what Jermaine fails to see. Yeah, Leslie, I want to get your take because obviously the story of Michael Jackson, while it it's, has a great deal to do with his genius and, and his brilliance in music, it was so much more. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, Jermaine has to remember, and, and it's obvious he's, he's, he's hurting for the loss of his brother, as I'm sure the family is. But in order to have all the information in this investigation be thorough and the family suspects foul play, this is going to stay in the news. It's also going to stay in the news because of who his brother was. Whether some people thought he was odd or not, the bottom line is the world loved him. And quite frankly, one of the reasons the Jackson family is not only so successful, uh, but so financially comfortable is because of that love and support you know the world has shown even when there are accusers of child abuse molestation that have been brought against Michael that there are, are millions that remained by his side and yeah. didn't believe it so I don't think that the drug use and and the names are going to turn away the masses and the millions throughout the world that loved his brother and because of who he was they are certainly going to continue to talk about him because he's died such a young age and certainly questionable death at this point yeah I agree with you absolutely all right, let's move on to another huge development tonight in the Michael Jackson death investigation. Just today, federal drug agents searched the Houston clinic of Michael Jackson's doctor, this man, Conrad Murray, who was with Jackson the day he died, and then a bombshell from Dr. Murray's lawyer who revealed the police were looking for evidence of manslaughter. Lisa Bloom, break that down for us. Manslaughter, wow. Yeah, that jumped out at me. And we had a report the other day this wasn't a murder investigation. That's right, because murder would be the intentional, premeditated killing of a human being. And no one's accusing anyone of that. But manslaughter is a lower-level homicide, which can be the negligent taking of a human life. For example, giving drugs to a known addict, giving various strong drugs like propofol, which we've talked about, to somebody like Michael Jackson. If that caused his death, that could result in a manslaughter, an unintentional killing charge. That's what we're learning today. It's very significant. Well, spokeswoman for Dr. Murray's lawyer told CNN late today that the raid caught everybody off guard. She said the raid was, quote, absolutely a surprise to us because we've had open lines of communication the whole time. Leslie, are you surprised that they didn't tell Dr. Murray they were coming and just sprung this raid on them? I mean, what does that say to you? Because they have been cooperative all along. Well, I think that's why it's called a raid, AJ, <laughs> you know, so that they spring it. It is the element of surprise, uh, first principle in the art of war. A and I say that because, I mean, quite frankly, and I'm giving my own personal judgment here, but a doctor that allegedly says, look, I'll be your personal physician for a million bucks a month, uh, th there are doctors out there, human beings out there, that will cover their tracks if there is anything possibly illegal. So I think the raid being secretive was uh, certainly intentional, so there would be no medication, paperwork, etc., shredded, missing, lost accidentally, that kind of a thing. Yeah, you, you would think, though, with all the time that's passed since Michael's death, anything incriminating, it would have been gone by now. Lisa yep. Bloom, Leslie Marshall, thank you so much.